Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to make a chopping board. Now this is a really easy chopping board to make. You don't need many tools, and it's really easy to do. It only took me about half an hour. The first thing I'm going to do is get my piece of timber and mark out the shape and size of my cutting board. This doesn't have to be perfect unless you want something that's really super symmetrical. Oh, and before I get too far, the timber I'm using is called camphor laurel. It is native to Taiwan, Japan and parts of China. It's also here in Australia. It's classified as a weed, but let's not worry about that. Here's a little trick I learnt to get a nice curved line. Screw two screws into the end point where you want the arc to start and end, then bend a metal ruler to get a nice curve. It's up to you how much of an arc you want. I only bent mine about one centimeter or so. For my design, I really wanted a deep cut out in the handle. I got a hole saw to get a nice curve on the inside. I could have done this with my jigsaw, but I have my drill, so why not use it? For the rest of the shape, I got my jigsaw and cut out the whole design. I just cut out side of the line so when I sanded it, it would end up exactly where I wanted it. Take your time while using a jigsaw because it can be really dangerous. Also, take time using your jigsaw because the slower you go, the less sanding you have to do, and that's always great. I use my router to curve my edges over. If you haven't used a router before, I recommend getting a palm router first. It's smaller and easy to use. It's a perfect confidence builder. I then sanded from 80 grit all the way to 240 grit. While sanding, I decided I wanted a hole in the handle so I could hang it. I drilled a 16mm hole using a spade bit and then got my router, curved the edges again and quickly re-sanded from 80 grit all the way to 240. I also had to do some hand sanding. The curves in the handle were too tight for my orbital sander. After I gave the board a wipe down with the clean cloth, I applied some mineral oil and let it sit for 10 minutes then wiped off the excess. Then I repeated the whole process again. I really like using oil finishes because it really brings out the colour. Don't forget though, I only use a food safe finish. As a matter of fact, I got this oil from IKEA and it is specially made for chopping boards. Perfect. Thanks for watching my video, please subscribe and if you haven't seen any of my other videos, here are two.